Good morning, everybody. Please stand for the opening hymn. Please be seated. Well, good morning again and welcome. Thank you for coming. Today's opening prayer is, well, we just sang today's opening prayer. Indeed, that's precisely the point of today's common prayer. It was the wise St. Augustine who said, to sing is to pray twice. As a former (coughs) soprano (laughs) in the boys' choir of St. Joseph's Church in Evansville, Indiana, I love hymns, and so I very much appreciate the opportunity to host today's All Hymns Common Prayer. Now, don't get me wrong. 
As a writer, I cherish the written and spoken word, and meaning no criticism of anyone. But as a rule, I think that those of us who are Catholics in particular maybe do a little too much talking in our services and not enough singing, but not today. So this morning I invite you all to lend vigorous voice to today's hymns, which represent both old standards and new favorites. Sometimes we'll alternate verses with the student choirs who are dispersed among you for reasons that will become evident in a moment. Just follow the directions in your programs. And when we get to the third song, the beautiful By the Waters of Babylon, we will divide you into threes and do that as a, as a round, you know, the sort of the row, row, row your boat, uh, but, but with a, a lot more pathos. Uh, anyway, you'll literally be getting some direction on that, so don't panic. Now, back to the songbook and let's pray twice.
waters, the waters of Babylon. We lay down and wept and wept for the Zion. We remember thee, remember, we remember the Zion. As President Kunkel mentioned, we're going to sing that as a round. And so what I'd like to do first is to sing the first phrase of that and have you repeat it. And then we'll do that with the second and then with the third. Okay? So let's try that. By the waters, the waters of Babylon, by the waters, the waters of Babylon, we lay down and wept and wept for the Zion, we lay down and wept and wept for the Zion. We remember thee, remember thee, remember the Zion. Very good. You all are in good voice today. So this is what we'll do. We'll sing through the whole song together twice as a community. Together. And then we'll break off into a round. And this group over here on the Boyle side, you're going to be group one. Okay? This group over here on the gathering space side, you're going to be group two. And all of us right here in this, right here in the choir area, we're all going to be group three. And we'll sing, we'll go right from singing it together two times right into the round. And we'll sing the round three times. So you sing your part three times, okay? Sing the song through three times. And then if you're one of the groups that gets done before the last group, just join in with the last group, okay? So all of us are singing together at the end. All right, here we go. By the waters, the waters of
I hope you've enjoyed today's praise and song program. My sincere thanks to Father Jay, Dr. Sarah Parks, Parish Music Director Jennifer McAllister, Dan Robinson, and maybe most especially Dan's son David, our banjo player, and the members of the Students' Choir. How about a big hand for all of them? We're going to close this morning's prayer with one of the most stirring hymns in the Christian canon, Amazing Grace. You'll see that the choir will sing verse 4, and then everybody join back for the final verse 5, which will do a cappella. You might not know that this song was written by the Reverend John Newton, who in a previous life had captained British slave ships. No matter how many times you hear it or sing it, Amazing Grace never fails to move with its ethereal melody and its message of the power of divine redemption. <laughs>